Hello chess fans, this is Chess to Impress with another impressive position from the history. This is a very historical one. This is Deep Blue, the Deep Blue computer, the IBM computer, IBM hardware and software playing Garry Kasparov, the reigning human world champion. It's the 11th of May 1997, the last game of the match. It's two and a half, two and a half. A year earlier, Kasparov won the match against Deep Blue 4-2, and here in the revenge match, it's, it's two and a half, two and a half, and the last game is being played. Deep Blue is white, Kasparov is black, and this is the position after the seventh move, knight 1 to f3 from white. It's a Karakhan defense, and here Kasparov played h7, h6, a dangerous move, and he, he knew about the move, I'm sure he had seen this before. Um, and he had seen White's strong reply. The strong reply is that White now sacrifices a knight after eight moves sacrificing on e6, just like that. I'm quoting from Bruce Pandolfini's book, Kasparov and D. Blue, and he says, the thinking in the Kasparov camp was likely that after the sack, D. Blue constantly would be analyzing positions in which it would find itself behind immaterial. In view of the high value the computer places on material point count, Deep Blue might not be able to evaluate correctly the true attacking potential of White's position. That's probably what Kasparov did, hoping that Deep Blue would not go for this line. He might also have played practice games against other computer hardware and software and found that those computers were not able to find the sacrifice, which is a very strong move. But Deep Blue found it. He found it from his opening book, but he was able to then play the strongest move afterwards, even when being material down. Kasparov didn't take the knight straight away. He played queen e7, pinning the knight, which is the main move in this position. Deep Blue castled, put his king safe, and now Kasparov cannot take the piece with the queen, because then there's rook e1, pinning the queen to the king, and black loses material so he has to take with the pawn which is not great because now his queen is obstructing the bishop on f8 and his pawn structure is um, is split up and also after bishop g6 his king has to move so he loses his castling rights let's make a jump this is the 10th move but let's make a jump to the 17th move so we're going seven moves ahead after bishop g6 to f5. D blue is spinning up on the e6 square, winning that, trying to win that pawn. And Kasparov didn't see anything but to sacrifice some material back because he saw no other way out and white is much better here already. Um, giving back the material is his best chance. So he takes the bishop on f5 and after, that way he sacrifices his queen for rook and bishop and after rook takes e7 bishop takes e7 material is now about even but if you look at the position look at white's pieces that are all in play and look at back black pieces the rooks on a8 and h8 are doing nothing the king is unsafe and here Deep Blue found the strong move c2, c4. Kasparov resigned here, so he lost the match 3.5, 2.5, and, and, and this was the first time a computer had beaten a human world champion over a longer, over more than one game in a match. So, why did Kasparov resign? Well, uh, let's give you an example. The knight is hanging, so he could take the pawn. Queen takes back. Now the bishop's on c6 is hanging. You cannot defend it with king b7 because then there's queen a6 mate. And this shows how how dangerous the position is for black. But you can defend the bishop by knight b4. And then, for example, rook e1 attacking the bishop on e7. King d8 to defend it. But then you can win some material already with white by rook a takes e7, king takes back, and then the knight on b4 is unprotected. And again, look at the rooks, but they still are doing nothing, and look at white's pieces. 
and look at the difference in the king's positions. The white king is completely safe while black's king is under fire. So Kasparov did not resign too, too early. This is really a horrible position for black and he would not be able to survive this. Hope you like this position. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I post my next video. This is Chester Impress. Thank you for watching.